ordered a hospital. The Aquas developers have promised the $8 billion project won't increase the flood risk in surrounding suburbs. The environmental impact statement has been released, providing the first detailed look at the mega resort. It's the $5 million document that's got cans talking, but Aquas developers promise they've left nothing to chance. We uh, prepared the EIS um, uh, and uh, with a impact avoidance philosophy. So where there was a potential impact, we looked at the, the ways of avoiding that impact. The 340 hectare site is home to crocs, bats and mosquitoes. Expert consultants spent months counting every animal on the site. The built footprint uh, we're talking about now is only 40 hectares of that. Uh, when you throw in the lake, it's 73 three hectares out of 340 hectares. So most of the development is significantly separated from the road and surrounding boundaries. Anti-Aquas campaigners have raised concern over its location on a floodplain. Engineers designed the mega resort using council flood maps. We are confident that the design of the development will comply fully with the, uh, um, the flood code. In fact, we're establishing the immunity of uh, uh, the Aquas Resort at a higher level than the council requires. We're up at probable maximum flood level. We've got some very, uh, very competent technical people and they will look at this and then they will report to the council on it. Although it took almost 12 months to compile the EIS, residents have been given just six weeks to make submissions. The state government says that's plenty of time to review the 4,000 page document. I'm sure that if there is any proponents out there that, are, that, are, that want their information, they can rally together uh, people that have got this expertise in those fields. The EIS can be viewed at dsdp.qld.gov.au. Lauren DeJoux, 7 News.